So this is the part of the video where we get to hook up the solar panel. So there's some things that you need to have is such as a screwdriver, not one that's too big or too small. You need a nice go lock uh, screwdriver that's able to fit in these holes, but able still able to get a grip on what's going on in there. I don't know why they designed it where well, you had to have that go lock screwdriver, but they did. And then. Um, and only half the uh, manual is really important. I mean, the whole manual is important, but that, you know, if you already kind of done this before, only half the manual is this. It's, but it's good to read some of the information here, getting you some information on how this exact model of thing works. Um, it pretty much works like any other model. If it if it, if it red, if something bad happened, green. So usually some good. Less things start flashing. Um, then something bad might happen. So good solid colors, that's what you want. So basically, basically since they didn't label this thing, they didn't label this thing, I had to cut it open off here and I had to stick this thing in here and they didn't label it. So we're gonna stick that thing in here like that. Stick that thing in here like this. And we get an 18.18 volts out. 18.8 volts, almost 19 volts coming off the solar panel, so that's good. And then, and then, apparently, that we have this oh, nearly dead uh, battery over here. And we stick this in here, we stick this in here, and 11.9, 11.5 2 volts. So we reverse it, right? It will have this negative point, right? So what that was to tell you that you hooked the you hooked this up backwards, right? This thing is only five bucks. So and you can get these at Harbor Freight. Sometimes they have a coupon. They get them for free it, with any other purchase. Some of the thing. These are things are cheap. You, so that but this thing designed to do this. But if you hook your solar panel up backwards or something, you're going to blow it up. So, don't ever hook other electronics up backwards. But, this is what this thing is for, so you can see if you're hooking things up backwards before you blow up your solar panels. And, and I can't believe they didn't label this stuff, so you have to have... I recommend definitely having one of these things. So, you know, if you're hooking things... One, so you know if you're hooking things up backwards, and two, so you have an idea what type of voltage is you working with you know, so you can keep eye on what's going on so that's good this is good thing to have um so and they cheap you know so let's start hooking up the solar panel uh in the manual it says recommend hooking up the battery first before they hooking up the solar panel so we're going to hook so we're going to hook up the, this thing first. So we're going to have to hook this thing up. So basically, okay, so we're going to hook that thing up. So we're going to take the scissors. All right. And then we also need scissors. Well, the scissors are right here. Oh, yes. These yes. are Harbor, more Harbor Freight scissors. So we're going to cut all the, all the zip ties off. Boom. Boom, boom. And you know we try to do this live, but like luckily we wasn't live because we spent the last twenty minutes make sure we had all the tools looking for the go lock screwdriver looking for the charging controller. I right. well back up a little bit. Um. So basically, then we gotta pull the little thing off of here so another reason that I'm glad I have these scoot these scissors so you take the scissors and you just pull the ends off all the wires right so so this this is the female end and so the the male end is positive coming out of here. So this is the female end, right? So we know this this cable gonna be the positive cable. 
So, and then we gotta loosen this this up quite a bit, right? So we take the screwdriver and we loosen all this stuff up, loosey goosey. Which I already loosen all most of the stuff off camera, but you gotta go through and loosen all this stuff down a little bit. So the screw, you know, which didn't say any of this in the manual. I had to sit here off camera playing with this stuff. So, you know, so hopefully I don't make too many mistakes, so, but that, you know, so, okay. So let's plug, this is the positive, right? Yeah, so this end goes right here. Let me stick that in in like this into the charge controller and then you kind of give a nice little test test because the wires get bent if you bent the wires down okay there we go and then you just tie it down All right, and now it's nice and tight. Okay, so, and then, and of course I, I messed up because I'm messy. That's a bowie in. Okay. And we have to hook, this is, this is the solar panel lead and it gotta go on the solar panel side. Very important people. So, yeah, so I recommend hooking, hooking this all up before, so hook up all the wires, making sure that all the wires are in the white spots, right? All right, so it hooked up, it hooked up. All right, so that, that side is hooked up. So then, and then we got the scissors. We got to snip the leads. I mean, I don't know why they need two zip ties. So I guess one zip tie would have been good enough, but I mean, it's good, I guess. And then take the end of the scissor and pull that off. So then you gotta hook up one of these, one of these things, right? And I'm not really gonna hook it up. I'm just going because this is not gonna be pummely hooked up. So, but yeah, but we first, but before we hook it up, we're going to hook it up right here. So. Gonna take these.
Hit that up. All right. I'm going to hook this one up. Make sure you twist that up. Make sure nice and straight. Put all of them in here like that. Let's double check all these things, make sure they're good and tight. All right, good. So then we're going to hook it up. So this this right here is is the netted one. So we're going to hook it up to the netted side. So that's to either anywhere on the frame of the vehicle or the right here on the battery. If we was going to hook this up long term. We going we can undo this nut right here and just slide it right in. There's a lot of different ways you could do this. Um, they have, they have most, a lot of these batteries, these, these actual batteries that are designed to do this have a little nut that goes on. But, you know, but we're just going to, there you go. We, that's, that's, that's hooked up. Wow. Like, like that. And then we got the positive side. Let's pause this side, just may I verify. Slide that in like that. It's touching, okay, cool. And then, making progress. So, okay, so this. Here's the net other side, the other side. You hook it up the net other side first. So what you gotta do is stick it in and then squeeze on right there. And we're gonna, we're gonna boom. You hear a light, sight, little spark. It latch in to undo it. You gotta undo these things, but that's pretty much latched in now. Female and male part. Yep, yep, put it together. Woo! Alright, this All right. is the metal part, this thing sticking out, you gotta put it in the thing, stick it in. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know, like that. Boom. Alright, so it should be hooked up. The battery should be charging. Let's look at the the thing it said. So it, it looked like everything is good. Um Let's look at the manual. Let's see what is this slow battery is charging normally. Battery is in float charge. Slow flashing. Slow, wait, slow flashing. Fast flashing is over voltage. So it means that it's charging. It means that it's it's charging normally. So it says that my battery, it's a corner of this, these lights on these things that it says the thing is charging. So, well, what about this one? This is um, flashing. It's flashing. It says it's charging. It's not charged, but it's charging. Okay. Right. Float charge means just normal charging. No, no, no. That's the other one. Okay. So right now, we, we actually, look, look. Michelle, we actually had, oh, we was at at 11.5 volts, and now we at 12 volts. And so we take the solar panels off. Look, it went down. Put the solar panel on. Look, it go right back up. Boom. Look, you see how it goes right up? Huh. Mm. Yeah, see, look, you take it down, it go down, you put it on, it goes up. Whoa, 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 what? It's like going down and then going up. It's going up again. <laughs> what, what does it say? Um, battery is 
over I better discharge. Okay, so that means batteries over discharge. So that means not hook up probably. Now 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 look, the, the voltage is going up. Going to take a while. Let's 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 leave it like that. Let's come back in a little while. Let it charge up a little bit. I'm going to tuck it in down here like this. This is not really the best way to connect the bat, to connect the solar panel, but it will work. We okay. are just we are just trying to charge to see if the thing is working or not. So, all right. So. What did it say? Battery is on a voltage. Yeah, see the batteries are on a voltage. That's for orange solid. Yeah. And then which one of these is on here? Like which one? Which oh one look, 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 it's coming up. Look at look, it's already packing up. Uh -huh. It's been in here for at least literally real fast. And it's already up to more than twelve. Yeah, more than twelve. So it's coming up real fast. See, before we were even able to start the car, now we have enough power to even work. Now we have power to work with. So that's good. Alright, let's look, let's look this up properly. So we have to see a positive voltage. Look, we have fucking three... You got power coming in, man. Hell yeah. Alright. Alright. And I want to say please like, subscribe, and share the video. Alright, and then we're going to come back and see how we, we do. And then we're going to start the car.